News 46 is brought to you by J.K. Nelson Law. Call 727-9900 today for your free consultation. If you need a lawyer, you need Nelson. Tonight on News 46, Marta Beckett dies at the age of 92. A tea is held for prospective beauty contestants. And a surprise is presented during a lunchtime meeting. News 46 starts now. You're watching KPVM News 46 with Deanna O'Donnell. And Unette Gentry. News 46, local coverage you can count on. Good evening. It's Tuesday, January 31st, 2017. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. And I'm Jeanette Gentry for News 46. World famous performer Marta Beckett has died. The woman who made Amargosa a destination for many travelers and single handedly transformed a ghost town into an art district has danced her final dance. A dancer, author, performer, painter, and musician, Beckett will be missed and her life celebrated. 92-year-old classically trained ballerina, musician, and artist Marta Beckett has passed away yesterday at her home located on the property near the Amargosa Opera House in Amargosa. Beckett started the Opera House and performed there for many years after arriving with her husband in 1967. Beckett revamped the former Pacific Coast Borax Company's Community Hall by painting the inside and made it into the world-famous Amargosa Opera House. Born on August 9th in 1924 in New York City, Marta danced, painted, and performed until 2012. When she asked other dancers to take over her performances and watched the shows regularly, Marta was also presented the Act of Kindness Award in recent years, and KPVM is honored to have conducted her final interview last year with her trusted caretaker, Rhonda, by her side. Art of the past, architecture and art of the past cannot defend itself. We have to do it. The funeral arrangements for Marta Beckett have not been announced as of yet. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Longtime Las Vegas entertainer Tony Saka has died. He was 65 years old. Saka passed away late Monday night at Spring Valley Hospital. He reportedly died of heart failure with his longtime girlfriend right by his side. Saka spent the past three decades entertaining locals and visitors to Las Vegas. His most recent project was Tony Saka's Vegas, The Story, that played every afternoon at Bally's. Besides being on stage and on local television, he was also well-known in the community. Saka hosted the long-running San Gennaro Food Festival. And the Nye County Sheriff's Office has issued an arrest report regarding a recent burglary. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has arrested Melinda Carson for burglary, possession of stolen property at a location on Firebird Circle. According to the declaration of arrest, police conducted a search warrant at a location at 1540 East Firebird Circle here in Pahrump. During that warrant, several items of stolen property were located and subsequently recovered. One of the items located was a kimono and other miscellaneous Asian decor. The property was possibly belonging to a case in reference to a burglary that occurred on Hacienda Street. In Carson's own admission, she stated that she obtained the Komodo from Jake. When asked if this was Jake from State Farm, who is the suspect in that case, she said yes. Police later reviewed that case and found that there was a person involved by the name of Minnie. Carson's nickname is Minnie, according to police. And the victim identified that the kimono on Hacienda Street belonged to them. Melinda Carson was booked into the Nye County Sheriff's Office Detention Center. This is Deanna O'Donnell for News 46. We'll have your court report when we return. <laughs> 